This is Twit. Um, let's take a look at our first question today, which comes in from Nani. Uh, Nani writes in and says, I use Google Photos slash Google Drive to back up an external hard drive connected to a Windows laptop. I now have a new SSD external hard drive connected to a MacBook. What is the best way to move my data from the old hard drive to a new hard drive and sync with Google Drive? Maybe download everything, many folders from the cloud to the new hard drive, then start from scratch? If anyone can help me, you can. Thanks in advance, Micah. Okay, you had to go and say that part at the end <laughs> to, to give me as much pressure as you possibly could, but you are correct. If anyone can help you, it is I, and I am here to help you out. Um, this is actually something that's not too complicated, and it's something that I want to uh, recommend doing rather than going through the process of downloading all of that stuff. That is not the fastest uh, way to do it. That's not the best way to do it because chances are you're going to end up missing something and then you suddenly don't have it available to you. And that's not great uh, because especially if you plan on getting rid of that drive or repurposing that drive, you want to make sure you have that, right? So here's what you should do. <laughs> Very simple. You should clone that drive. You should take everything that's on that drive attached to the Windows machine, put it on the SSD, the new SSD, do this all locally, and then you'll have all of those files locally. And the great thing is Google Photos slash Google Drive is going to handle the stuff in the background to make sure that it's kind of all working as it should. Now, there are many ways to do a uh, to do a, a full on cloning of a drive, but I want to tell you the way to do it if you are moving over to a Mac. And here's the great thing: Mac has a great program called Disk Utility, and Disk Utility is a program on the Mac that lets you take your uh, disks that you plug in and make adjustments to them, make changes to them. And one thing that you can do with disk utility is create a disk image. When you create a disk image, it basically takes everything that is inside of the drive and it lets you uh, create that and, and, and have it as like a separate little instance that you can then copy to the new drive or even go as far as to restore the new drive with that image. So we're going to include links in the chat that have the information that you need to create a disk image using disk utility on Mac. Now, there are some steps in here for creating a blank disk image. That's not what you want to do. You want to take uh, the second step, which is create a disk image from a disk or connected device. So in this case, you would plug in that hard drive and you would use that hard drive uh, to create the disk image. And then afterward, you can go through and restore a disk image to a disk using disk utility on Mac. I'm saying it this way because I'm trying to specifically use the language that Apple does in these support documents so it's easy for you to find it. And so all you do is restore that disk image with the volume that you're plugging in, that new SSD. And then after that, you can continue very easily to use your Google Drive uh, and Google Photos backup without uh, without issue. So going through and downloading those files is a process that's just simply that that's that's not the best way to do it. And would it, it especially with uh, bandwidth caps that a lot of people have? It's a waste. It's an absolute waste because you're pulling it from somewhere else back down when you've got it right there locally and being able to move it over. Um, and Wizardling, uh, I want to thank you as well, because you've been uh, providing some suggestions in the chat about how to do this from a Windows machine. Um, and so if you do have a Windows machine, then you are able to do this process as well. Um, in the case of of Windows, it, instead of calling it a disk image, it is more often referred to as cloning specifically. Uh, so you can go and, and go through that process. So uh, easy to kind of 
take care of that regardless of which side you do that. And yes, good point, uh, Keith's 512, who says you could also back up that disk image uh, to a different location as well. So if you have concerns about where, uh, you know, if you if you're worried that those files are going to get erased or that there's going to be an issue, that disk image that you create, go ahead and back that up to the cloud uh, as well, or, you know, some other location. If you all, if you like Leo have, you know, multiple locations where you can take things and back them up. So this is just going to kind of lock in Nani, uh, the security of the system in terms of its, you know, longevity. Um, but yeah, that is the process and so, so, so much simpler than going through and getting every single file and waiting for it to download to your local machine. That's the hard way of doing it. And I'm happy to show you that there is a much easier way. If you enjoyed what you just saw, well, there's more of it. It's all over at twit.tv or just click in the description and you can get links to this very episode. 